start of a new life. To be honest, it looks pretty freaking cool. <gasps> oh my gosh. We're not gonna fall. So you say, ready about? I just woke up to a huge bang. Oh, Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Nice. So we're making the most of uh, having a bit of downtime to make some progress on our aft cabin project, which we started. I mean, I shouldn't really call it an aft cabin. It's just like the aft quarter revamp, basically. So, yeah, we put in this wall back in April and um, we've been meaning to panel it for a while. So we're finally getting around to doing that and um, hopefully it'll start looking a little bit better because we haven't made any progress on it for the past three months or so. But we were just saying, if we don't do it now, then when are we going to do it? Because soon there's going to be other things that are way more of a priority, you know, just more safety based things. I'm just shaving down this uh, edge piece just to get it to fit. Almost. It's a bit of an awkward shape. You know, where where do you see? Like, how, 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 how do we avoid? Uh, first coat. Just a letter. It's quite that? bright. <laughs> bright. First coat. Wow, what a difference. It only took, okay. I don't know, like, yeah, Half 10 hours. Day. Started at like midday. Yeah. Man, it's pretty satisfying. We're getting to know our boat. I was thinking about when I was I cutting the uh, panels up in the cockpit and using that saw and then cutting it on, like, you know, in the cockpit where we've done the teak ourselves. I don't know, something kind of satisfying. <laughs> just saying. Morning! So, Lars has just gone to drop off our old outboard um, to give it to the guys here at the outlet store in Palma because there's a huge nautical outlet store for anyone who is looking for secondhand boat stuff. It's really good. It's called Mercanautic Outlet, but make sure there's like two. So, And I am just painting a second coat on the wall, which is uh, going well so far. Obviously we've bought a new outboard, so the next thing would be to get a new dinghy. Been on the market for a new one, just looking and seeing what's out there. Either new or used, we're kind of open to anything. But we want a hard bottom. We've been here for about a week and we've seen that this boat that's anchored next to us has had two dinghies attached to the boat for the whole time. I mean, the whole week we've been here and then the last time that we were here as well, we noticed it. So last today was like, oh, why don't I just go around and see if they're actually going to sell one of them? Uh, so he goes around this morning and turns out that uh, it's not actually their dinghy, it's their friend's dinghy and uh, he's uh, happy or willing to sell. So we have just gone around to, to take a look at it and we've brought it back to our boat and we've just mounted the outboard to it to give it a spin. To be honest, it looks pretty freaking cool. It's the start of a new life. Alex? We haven't bought it yet, but... No, I know. We're going to take it for a test run, make sure that... To be honest, I just want to... I know it's going to be great. Yeah. So I just want to give it a test spin and, and then we'll uh, confirm and probably buy it. Such a really good price as well for a hard bottom dinghy. He just wants to get rid of it. He just wants to get rid of it, yeah. Hello, Helmut. The deal is done. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Confirmed. So we're going to bring in the cash this evening. What an upgrade. Very cool. We just had a squall come in and she's seen a couple of boats, like one of them's just been heading straight yeah, for the rocks. Crazy, crazy. Boats are all over the place here, heading into each other and everything. <gasps> oh my gosh. It was really calm earlier and it's just come out of nowhere and it's gone up to like 30 knots and all the boats we're all quite close together, so if you didn't put out enough chain, or if you've been here for a few days and you didn't check the weather forecast. I 
matches. Oh, the rain is coming. When it first came though, we were healing like crazy. That was a real, like, real intense gust. Shit is really going down. There are boats dragging all over the place. Everywhere. These people are starting to yell. That boat is almost on the rocks. Oh my god. It looks like it's stopped, it's but it's very close to the rocks. I can't even see. The, the sky is just like a light show. No, it's not, right? Yeah, look at it. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this. Progress, progress, progress. We're making great progress now. It's starting to. It's starting to look like something. So we've stained the uh, panels. These ones, you can you can tell, right? But it's not. Now we can tell it's them. not not teak panels. But if you zoom out a little bit and just go a bit, <laughs> a bit further away, further away from the whole I thing. I mean, you can kind of tell. And then this is what this is looking like right now. So we've painted and. Got a little cut in here as well. And all we need to do now is just add the desk part to this and this will open and close as well. And that's with that piece of wood that we had from the old chart table. So yeah, it's time to come along. some friends here visiting this week which is really fun and we've gone to an anchorage that's actually probably been our favorite that we've been at this whole season so far it's a beautiful place we've had it all to ourselves and there's been mixed reviews on the um, app called Navali we had such a cool evening last night we went in the water and uh, put our masks on and could just see the bioluminescence every time we were moving around and things it was magical we we're just like glittery and really calming like I went we went in and we were kind of like oh what's it gonna be like you just get a feeling that it could be quite like spooky and then we just had the stars come out and the clouds move away and the stars come out later and it was just so cool and we've missed those nights because we've just been in a lot of anchorages this year with a lot of light pollution and a lot of a lot of cities or towns around so to just have a spot like this again off-grid kind of no internet connection or anything feels pretty sweet you're doing great Fred Oh, I just fell in. <laughs> we had a slow morning enjoying the water before heading out in the dinghy to check out the area. Yeah. Shut up! 
After an explore on land, we went for an explore in the sea. We made the most of our fresh new dinghy and outboard to head a bit further out to a good dive spot. Jibes are, are like the most, uh, puts the most strain on the thing, you know. Yeah, it's the most dangerous maneuver on the boat. Yeah. Alright, going right. Yeah. Going right. Going right. Yeah. Okay, so hold it there. Yeah. Hold your cap. Hold my cap. <laughs> now, when you're ready, Fred, you're going to go, you're going to say, going about, and you're going to go hard over all the way to the right. right. Fum. Yeah. Okay. We're not going to fall. So you say, ready about? <laughs> say, okay. say the wish. Ready, ready about? Ready. 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 Let's go to the right. All right, go for it. And then I suck it down this way, right? Yeah. Okay. Wrap it around the windshield. Let's go. Hard over, hard over. Don't break it. Go, go, go. Yeah, good. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Go, 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 go. And then straighten up, Fred. Yep. Yeah. You want to head towards the town over there. Yep. Yeah. She needs to flop on the other side. There we go. Yeah. Sweet! So Fred, if you head towards the, the buildings there, yeah, like that, exactly, perfect, stay there. Time to sleep because our night just started. So hey ho! We invite you for yoga in dark and stormy if you want. <laughs> We headed off the next morning to an anchorage a bit further down the coast and set up camp for the next couple of days. You got this, brother. Nice! Nice! Some sailor friends of ours were anchored next door and also had some friends visiting, so we all got together at theirs for some sundowners and wakeboarding with our new outboard. It was all worth it after all. The next day, a catamaran showed up in the anchorage and generously invited us all on board for a delicious home-cooked lunch. These guys were so nice and actually inspired us with their generosity. We all got treated to the skipper's freshly caught tuna that they caught on their way over from Ibiza. So good.
We enjoyed the last days with our friends, packing in as many activities as we could. Oh, and for anyone wondering, this game is called Spike Ball. We'd never played it before, but it's really fun. Whoa. Sad times. Some friends sense. leaving. And uh, home we go. <laughs> Done pretty well. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Thank you, Corrective. Time to say goodbye to the last of the guests. We've got Fred leaving us now. Goodbye, my lover. <laughs> So we had all of our friends leave yesterday and since then we've just been recuperating a little bit with some sleep because it's been pretty full on and we have just been kind of cleaning up the boat. Same old, it always feels so empty when people leave. And we're still in this anchorage in Porta del Svels, uh, anchored next to our friends here on Elios 2, on uh, their beautiful catamaran, uh, which we're really envious of. So, yeah, just having a good time with these guys. Apparently we bumped last night. Did we? Yeah. And the uh, <laughs> poor guy he said he woke up and he came running out and he forgot that he'd closed his glass door there. No and he way. He was running straight into it. <laughs> no. Um, apparently no no issues, just kind of dunk in Whoa. the night. There, there's no wind and so we just, we were stern to stern at one point. And then now we're just wanting the wind to pick up a little bit so the chain's straighten out. And yeah. Pulled back on the anchor a little bit. Straight a little bit out. further away from them now. It's really humid and clammy these last couple of days. It's felt really warm. So you end up just feeling a little bit like brain foggy. Best thing to do is just get in the water, go for a swim. There they go. Our buddies. And the cat. Out of here. Nice work, that was pretty tight, huh? That was really tight. Last <laughs> went up to deal with the anchor. Not really, no one was on the helm for a second. And uh, the anchor was right like was right underneath another mini motorboat. So anyway, I ended up on the helm and then it was like really close and I didn't realise we were gonna head like into another boat and that's I was just kinda like, oh all of a sudden I'm on the helm and it's a really tricky situation. It looked really controlled, but I think it was a fluke, basically. <laughs> yeah, everyone was like, nice one, nice one, and I was like, totally meant to do that. Totally. Panicking on the inside. Yeah, exactly. I was like, Mars! Mars, come back here! <laughs> So we've started to tow our dinghy now because it's a little bit more difficult to lift up than the old one, obviously being more heavy and stuff. Well, I think it's going to be able to lift on the davit, so I just need to get some longer lines for it. It does slow us down, obviously, but we've given ourselves the rule, like, if it's a two-hour or less passage, then we'll tow it, and obviously if it's not too much swell, and otherwise we'll, we'll go through the process of lifting it up. Sailing again! Feels so good. Huh? Watch out for the wing. It's going to be close. Yeah, it's going to be a bit close. But... Put the fender up, put the fender up. Lose, 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 lose. 
Lars, it's gonna hit again. It's gonna hit. It's gonna... Can you put the fender out? These guys seem to not even be here. They must be, no? <gasps> Has it gone behind it? They're just gonna drag into other people. But do you know I said it earlier? I said everyone, no one could drag into us except for this guy, and they were over there. They're gonna drag right into us. Yeah. We need to get these fenders out now. Gross. Did you leave the boat pole on? <gasps> oh. Hola! Hello! It's gonna hit again, it's gonna hit. God, he finally woke up. Rip pole. Top, 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 top. On a entendu un bruit donc euh, ça a cogné. Bah oui Est-ce qu'ils sont à bord ou pas Ouais. ouais. So I just woke up to a huge bang and the last didn't even wake up. So I was like, Lars, Lars, what the hell is that? And uh, and we both get up and we immediately just like up on deck. Luckily we've got this hatch here that we can we can go up immediately. And then we just see the motorboat like right banging up against the bow. I think it took Lars a few minutes to really understand what was going on. I was like, wake up Lars, come on, get with it. The boat is hitting us and he's just like, what? <laughs> I think you thought it was a dream, Lars. <laughs> you did. I was just deep asleep. It just it just took me a, a few moments to like, yeah, I don't know. Try to wake them up or just try to like, hey, you know, yeah. oh, yelling, knocking on the hull. Yeah. Just yelling down the companion way, like, wake up, wake up, you're dragging, wake up. Nothing, nothing. And to the point where I was like, okay, so there's nobody on board. Their dinghy was up, so I just was like, they're yeah, obviously thought, on. Yeah, and then I thought maybe they just, I don't know. I just couldn't believe they were still awake. I mean, their boat was bumping into ours and I was yelling at the companion way, actually. Yeah. Eventually, I woke up. It must have been a bit of a fright for them. Like, I was on their boat and I was like... They were also completely confused and just like, waking up like, what? Oh, the best was like, he just comes out and he's like, Hola, hola. And we're like, English, French. German, what do you want? Just yeah. like, move the boat, you're dragging. <laughs> do you know where they've gone to Rianca? Yeah, up there somewhere. Back where they were. Yeah, pretty much. <sighs> happen again. They were far away, right, at first? Yeah, they were really far away. They so were they've been dragging. But even when we, even when you push them off the boat, they were still dragging. They were still dragging. Yeah. They were just then coming alongside the boat and bumping into us as well. I don't think they had enough chain out. Of course not, they're motorboat. Just saying. Sleep now. Anyway, I think my tie-dye pajamas lift the mood. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Well, I was just getting. <laughs> 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 I was just getting... <laughs> Stop being so planned in advance and enjoy life. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>